Zambezi News. I'm Liz Spencer. I'm Jerome Weathers. And I'm Mandape Mandape. And for now, a look at the headlines. Man made a snake in Mutare. So-called cash crisis causes a breakdown in culture. Mess concerning cash shortages in the country rebuffed. And now for the news in detail. National Parks and Wildlife are investigating a man identified as Cashington Chimuti, who allegedly murdered a spitting cobra bequeathed to him by his grandfather in a fit of rage. Chimuti attacked the snake when it stopped spitting US dollars and started spitting bond notes instead. Chimuti, who is still at large, was last seen at Happy Time Beer Garden. If found, please return to the Ministry of Finance. In other news, the Department of Tax and Grabbing has issued a 50% levy on all income received in cash as gifts for baby showers, kitchen teas, birthday parties, as well as funeral contributions, known as CHEMA. Levy roadblocks will be set up at all the entrances and exits to wedding venues, as well as cemeteries. Cash gifts in bond notes need not be remitted. This so-called cash crisis has led to a breakdown of culture. Foreign-backed opposition parties, political pastors, and ungrateful middle-class citizens are claiming that there is a cash shortage. We go to Kefas Josfats, who is with the governor of the Reserve Bank, Take More Mari, in order to squash that myth. Governor, take more. Some people, not me, are saying that the reason why there are long queues at the banks is because there is a shortage of cash in the country. Africans, like us, are a very sociable people, Kefas. When we go on a trip, like from home to town, we go with all our children, our neighbors, our neighbors' children, and also our in-laws. So most of the people you see milling around the banks are actually our rural relatives being shown around town. <laughs> uh, G Governor, what about this foreign money we had? <clears throat> Number one, that money was being abused by citizens who were purchasing second-hand Japanese motor vehicles from Japan, even though we've got a good transport system here, one of the best on the continent. Number two, some irresponsible people were using that foreign currency to pay for medical procedures in other countries, even though we've got a thriving pharmaceutical industry right here. Number three, some unscrupulous elements were actually educating their children in universities out of the country. What for? To my fellow Zimbabweans who are guilty of such things, shame on you. Even now, we are putting measures in place to ensure that the US dollars will only be given to people that can prove that they are going to use that money in a responsible way, like hiring a villa in Italy, something like that. That makes sense. Thank you, Governor. You're honored. Back to you in the queues, uh, studio. In today's episode of Great Men of a Bygone Era, we focus on this individual. This bunny rabbit was last seen on the five cent coin in the company of the two dollar note and the ten dollar note. The bunny rabbit's most notable achievements include bringing joy to many Zimbabwean households through the purchase of large amounts of groceries. It's believed that the bunny rabbit was either murdered by the bearer check or emigrated to greener pastures. If found, please show to your children to show them that Zimbabwe once had a functional economy. Hashtag find the rabbit. In our art section, we focus on the famous John Brown, an artist of exceptional talent, whose work has a unique aesthetic appeal. John has made a name for himself in the United Kingdom, where I used to live. We recently caught up with him on a short visit to Zimbabwe, where unfortunately I still reside. Listen, you oaks are going to give my parents back their farm in Missouri if I carry on doing this, huh? 
that area uh, can be a bit of a problem. <laughs> but I have a piece of land uh, behind my cottage uh, at my house in Borodale. Your parents can uh, plant a few millies there. <laughs> we need uh, 10,000 of these in a week. You can't get 10,000 in a week? And I'm running out of paper. Oh, you are a problem, man. All right, use this. They are already green. <laughs> We need uh, two quintillion of these, so uh, add eight more zeros. <laughs> Don't just look at me right. I have to be in Geneva. The Ministry of Business, Money Making and Mansions would like to advise citizens that under statutory instrument 3351 of 2017, it is illegal to deposit cash in the following banking systems without a valid banker's license. The Bra Bank, the Mattress Bank, the Ecotin System, and for the white community, the safe. Yes, we know you have them, and so does your maid. Application for a banking license must be accompanied by a non-refundable deposit of 5,000 United States dollars. I repeat, United States dollars, not bond. Please note, there is a six-year waiting period before a license will be issued. That's all I can do for you, my doobie. My hands are tied. I can only offer marriage counseling to you alone. You know it's strictly on a sliding scale. Did you read my E-Fly? Face-to-face counseling for husband and wife. Tithe and offering must be paid in 300 units of any foreign currency. Counseling for wife only will be given after bank transfer and swipe. As for you, my doobie, you're on eco -care. And I can only give counseling to you alone on WhatsApp. And even then, only after midnight. And I can't guarantee it'll be me giving the counseling. Now, if you want to move to a different tier, cash is for sale at Road Park. Just look for the ladies in the all-white Pastor All of 20 t-shirts. Right. Be blessed. People think I'm running some kind of charity here. <laughs> oh, charity. Hi, ah, sugar. Miss me? Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, I know I did that. <laughs> What's my name? What's my name? Say it again. Say it again. That's right, baby. <laughs> Glory to you. <laughs> That's all for this news bulletin. I am Mandape Mandape. I've been Jerome Weathers. And I've been Kudzaishe Mushai Hembe. And you've been the viewers. Due to so-called foreign currency shortages, we're unable to pay anyone to do the closing credits, so this is it. The end.